Hello and uh, welcome to my brief walkthrough of my um, current portfolio project. Uh, this was an AI project combined with um, my networking and audio uh, final year projects on my degree. It was maintained throughout my master's degree um, and then I entered full-time employment and uh, I haven't looked at it since. So I'm just going to start the demo up. Um, Firstly, I'd like to point out this is a this output here is from the Lua Plus uh, virtual machine. So the engine is run by Lua. Um, I have a console that I can bring up here, and I can type messages into um, the engine straight away if I would like to. Uh, what you have on display here is um <coughs> this is a procedural texture. It's just a default texture for the mesh. This is a free mesh and a free skybox that I found uh, online. Um, these car meshes I also found online. Um, currently, they are, if, if you look over here, they're in the uh, AI state, uh, seek state. So they're just currently seeking towards uh, this sphere, this centre, the, the centre position of this sphere. Um, over here, this is how you control the demo. Um, I can change the function that the mouse does. So the right mouse at the moment fires a box or fires lots of boxes um, and you can see the uh, impact those dynamic bodies are having on the frame rates because they're they're allocated on demand um, I can change this function to shoot uh, rabbits um, or teapots um, apply force so I can I can push boxes in the cars around a bit Pl apply quite a large force this is where th things start to go flying um, or change the position of this node so um, I should note quickly uh, the renderer is written by me from scratch. It's a DirectX 9 renderer. Um, the AI and the audio engine are all written from scratch too. Um, the DLLs I'm using, so Antweak Bar uses, uh, it is for the, uh, the uh, UI. Um, Lib Sound File is for the um, loading in of certain WAV files. Lua Plus is obviously for the Lua virtual machine. Um, and SDL is for the networking, which is also on display in this demo. Um, so using so using my different right mouse function, I can uh, I can now change where the AI are trying to get to. Um, so they're quite they're quite stupid. I'd, it's artificial intelligence, but they're they're not particularly intelligent as you can see. Um, I can I can however change their state their state. So if I move this over here and change to flee state, so now they're just going to try and essentially run away from wherever this is very naively again just head straight into the wall. Um, path state, so I've uh, made a procedural navigate navigation grid. Navigation. Um, I'm just going to move the camera up so we can get a better look. So what I can do here in the rendering is I can uh, turn the uh, models off. So now we only have the skybox. Um, but I can also draw the AI grid. So this this grid, it's a fixed size grid, and the way it works is I raycast down until I hit the floor, um, move it up a little bit, and then raycast along the uh, the connections. Um, and as you can see, it forms a pretty decent grid around the city. If I turn the models back on, you can sort of see roughly. And uh, this, this is the grid that the AI used. So if I move this chap over here, once they've uh, finished faffing around, they should hopefully iterate along this path and end up somewhere over here. Um, so if I turn the uh, AI grid off, you can actually see the path that's generated. Now this is using an A star algorithm, so it's quite quick um, and executes on another thread um, on a request basis. So if I move it back over here, they should, as you can see, they navigate around the building. Um, so the next state I have is called arrive. Uh, oh, sorry, that's wonder. That's just stupid um so arrive they essentially try and adjust their velocity to arrive nicely in the sphere if there was only one of them you should hopefully see them essentially park in the sphere but obviously they hit each other uh, this is formation state um the way it works this guy is the uh the center node and these guys essentially try and stay on the right side of him so if i move them over here you should hopefully see that this guy stays in the center this guy tries to stay to the left and this guy stays to the right. So if I do this, you should hopefully see that they stay in formation. 
Obviously, it all goes a bit mental when I change direction because these guys always fall over each other. Yeah, as you see. Um, so that's the AI. Um, that's on show. Uh, what else have I got on show? And that's it for now. Um, I'm going to do another video that shows the networking side of things. Essentially, you can drive one of these cars around via TCP. But, um, I'll upload that separately to keep to keep the file size down. So um, thanks for looking. Excuse the uh, improvised nature of the video. And um, I'll be back.